Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and now we will cover table expressions as replacement of read table statement. You all know very well, yes, we have a read table statement, widely, widely used statement, which is used to read the first matching record from the internal table. With the help of read table, we can read the first matching record from the internal table. And yes, we can read based upon key also. We can read based upon index also. If you want more clarity, you can simply refer the playlist of ABAP programming part one. You will get the full detailed explanation on read table. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, what SAP is saying, instead of read table, you need to use table expressions. SAP is recommending, SAP is saying, but it does not mean that read table is absolute. No, from the starting itself, we are putting so much stress. The old syntaxes are as it is. The new syntaxes are just added. Old syntaxes will work as it is. Now in SAP new ABAP, now in SAP ABAP new syntax, what SAP is saying, rather than read table, use table expressions. Now, whenever we will go for table expressions, we need to use the scare bracket. And in the scare bracket, we will specify the key or we will specify the index on which we want to read a particular record. And it is whenever I will do the practical, you will get more clarity. And now I will go for same to same approach. Firstly, I will show you through read table. Then I will show you that instead of read table, how, how we can use table expressions, how table expressions are a replacement of the read table. Now, what I will do, this is the already developed program. In the previous video, we developed this program in which we have written the query based upon new ABAP syntax. We have put the comma between the columns. Every host variable, we used a prefix at the rate. Yes, this is your host variable. These are your host variables. And these are your guest variable. This is a host variable. This is a corresponding guest variable. This is a host variable. It is a corresponding guest variable, guest variable. Now what I will do, I will not touch this existing program. I will make a copy of this program and I will implement the table expression. So I will make a copy of this program because in the future we need to go for more new open SQL. So we will again refer this program. I will make a copy of this program. Suppose I will say ZPRG6. Suppose I will say table expressions. Underscore new suppose. Or I will simply go for table expressions. I will select all. I will make a copy. Suppose I will save this program as a local object. I will activate the program. Now in this program, firstly, I will show you the demo of read table. Then we will simply go for table expressions. Firstly, I will show you read table on index. Then we will go for read table on key also. Suppose I am saying read table. What is the internal table? LT underscore data into LWA underscore data. Suppose we want to read a record which is on index three subs. You all know after every read table, you need to check for size sub RC condition. If size sub RC equal to zero, it means we are able to read the record successfully, else we are not able to read the record successfully. 
Now I will go for write state. LWA data VBELN. LWA data ER tag. LWA data ERZET. LWA underscore data ER. So it will read the record which is on index 3. It will move that record from internal table to work area. And if size sub r is equal to 0, we are simply, simply writing that particular record. Now I will get a syntax error here. See, we are reading the record from internal table to work area. We declared the internal table here. So it will understand the internal table here. But we have not declared the work area. Now people will say, you already declared the work area on 40 number line. See, we are reading on 34 number line. And we declared the work area by using inline data declaration on 40 number line. So system will give the error because it will process the code like this. It will go for sequential. Now, if I will check the syntax, system will give me the syntax error that you have not declared the work area LWA underscore data. Now, what is one option? One option is if this loop statement is before this read table, we will not get the syntax error. Suppose if I am just cutting this logic and I will put here. Now we declared on 34 number line. And now we are using on 39 number line. So now there is no syntax error. Or what you can do if you are not comfortable in this, if you want to put the logic on this line itself, then you have to put data here. Now I will declare a here itself using inline data declaration. Or if you want to declare explicitly, it is totally your wish. Now, now, again, I will get an error. Now, just think because whenever the freshers will learn the new syntax, especially so many errors will be there. Now, we declared on 34 number line. We declared on 39 number line also. So, now it will say me that it is already declared. So, we need to remove from 39 number line. I will get an error that it is already declared. So, I will simply, simply remove that data from here. Because it's only one time we need to declare. It is either by explicit or inline data declaration. Done. So it will read the record which is on index 3. It will move the data from internal table to work area and we will be able to read. Now this is read table based upon index. Now we will go for read table based upon key also. Suppose I am writing read table internal table into work area. Now I am writing with key. Suppose I will read based upon username. What is the column name for username? ER now. I'll check in that table. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code so that I can pass a right username. I will go to contents. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 5. Now we will be able to see the username also. Okay. We shall add. Suppose I will go for this. ER num is equal to we shall add. Now if psi sub rc equal to 0, I will simply write this. So I will copy this. Write statement and paste here. So we have done the read on key also. We have done the read on index also. Now we will see the output. Why I put Vishal R so that I can show you that read table only reads the first matching record. I will just activate. We will firstly understand in the debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint on the first query itself. 
Suppose I am giving the input one to five. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. It will just enter. It is taking some time. Okay, I'll go to desktop. You can see input is on the right hand side. Yes, we have one to five sales document number. Currently, this internal table has zero records. When this query executed, now we have five records in the internal table. Now we are reading the third record from the internal table. So this third record from the internal table will go to work area. Now, if I will go for this read, and it is just reading the single matching record, size sub RC zero, because we are able to read the record successfully. Now you can see in the work area, we have the third record. We are writing this particular record. We are displaying through write statement. Now I will, I am reading this internal table based upon key. Now just see in this internal table for the username Vishal R, we have three records, but read table only, only read the first matching record. So it will only, only read this particular record. Now I will go to desktop three. Now I'm executing. Now you can see size sub RC zero, but the first matching record moved to work area sales document number one. And now we are displaying. And now after that, with the help of loop, we are displaying all the five tickets. So this is your index result, read table index. This is your read table key. And these are the five records which we are getting using loop statement. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with table expressions which are a replacement of read table. Now, we all know read table always read the first matching record from the internal table. Yes, we can read based upon key also. We can read based upon index also. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, but SAP is recommending or that rather than using read table, use now table expressions. In the table expressions, we need to use curly, we need to use square bracket, sorry. We need to use square bracket. In the square bracket, you will pass the index or you will pass the key. Now, as a part of that, we made a copy of our existing program. And I put so much stress again on host and guest variable. These are your host variable. These are your guest variable or simply understanding Whatever the data objects you are using in the query, they are called as host variable. And I showed you read table based upon index also, based upon key also. Then I showed you various permutation and combination. Then I put this read table after this loop statement. It will recognize because in the loop itself, you declare the work area. But if read table is before this loop, you need to declare the work area and do not go for duplicate declarations. Anyways, SAP will give the error. And yes, if it is inline data declaration or explicit declaration, we only need to go once. Now in the next video, I will simply, simply show you the table expressions. Rather than this read table, we will use the table expressions. So that's it in this video. Thank you.